make sure it's playable. <laughs> I know it sounds like obvious, but you'd be amazed. Um, I'm an old school composer. I don't possess software like Sibelius or anything like that. If I write a piece, I write the score down and I give it to my copies and he produces the parts and score on Sibelius for me. So a, a big mistake that a lot of composers, young and old, make these days is relying on the software to write the composition for them. In other words, you don't press the repeat button or cut and paste this or do that. It is no um, substitute for um, thought processes with regards to composition technique. Um, it's too easy to write an ostinato figure and just keep ploughing it through and it's, or, or to play a clarinet line slow then speed it up and think that the clarinet can actually do that. It's very, very good to consult your local clarinetist before you start publishing pieces which may or may not be able to be played. So it's very important that you have everything idiomatically correct for each instrument. Simply go and ask a violinist, have a look at this, tell me what I could improve on, you know, have I bowed it right? Is that passage able to be played at bar six? Etc. Etc. And do that for each of the instruments because you're young composers and you won't know as much as you will down the line this time. So it's no shame to go and ask accomplished musicians to have a look through your piece, be they composition teachers or your cello teacher or whatever, and ask them, have I got this right? The second thing is, um, make it clear on the page, in the part writing and um, in the score that I'm going to read. If I see a messy score, it doesn't make me quite as inclined to read it as thoroughly as I might, you know, a, a score which is clear and beautifully written out. Um, format is very important. It's easy on the eye, it's easy to read. I'm going to be able to hear it clear in my head if it's easy on the eye. That's very important. So format, the final product on the page is really very important, especially for those who are going to play it, but also for me who's reading the score. What I'd say to someone who's composing is try to have your own voice, you, you know, because do you really want to sound like Shostakovich or somebody else? Because you probably won't sound as good as Shostakovich if you do. So if you can try to have your own voice and whatever that's going to be. I think if you're starting out as a composer, it may be best not to choose a topic that is too world shattering, you know? I mean, like um, Delius wrote on hearing the first copy in spring, that was, you know, not really he just heard a little cuckoo down the road. Not, not something big, but in his way, it's, a, it's um, a very big thing, isn't it? It's all about life and everything. But, um, you know, choosing a pretty small subject that for a small piece and a short piece, I think that could be pretty cool.